do's and don'ts of Cat 5e and Cat 6 cable installation. Don't bend the cable more than at a 90 degree angle. Exceed the minimum bend radius for a four pair cable, which is one inch. Use more than 25 pounds maximum pulling tension on a four pair cable. Over tighten cable ties on cable bundles. Run hand trucks over the cable. Do's. Install telecom cables at least 5 inches from power lines. Use loose Velcro to bind cable groups where possible. Avoid unnecessary bends in the cable runs. Make computer room connections with labeled patch panels. Maintain 568A or 568B color coding for the entire system. At the start of the system, CAT6 cable installation, study and document the required cabling layout and the distances between the equipment to be cabled. Color labels may be useful for coding the different functions used in the system setup. Suggestions for methods to handle this task can be found in ANSI TIA EIA 606 document. Depending on where the cables are run will determine whether PVC or plenum cable is required. The transmission speed and type of equipment to be connected are among the factors that will determine the type of cable necessary to accomplish the job. Fiber optic cable may be required rather than copper cable or in addition to it. For unshielded twisted pair UTP, CAT5E, and CAT6 cabling, the horizontal cable will have up to 90 meters of UTP cable and up to 10 meters of patch cords, according to TIA TSB 67. The text must check on the cable manufacturer's installation instructions. The cable is not run in wire cable trays. It should be supported at least every four feet so as to provide adequate support. When pulling the cable, care should be taken not to overstress the cable when doing the runs. With Category 6 installations, special care should be taken when attaching cable to connectors or jacks to maintain the required pair twists. The color codes for either T56, T568A or T568B should be maintained throughout the entire system so that the pair-to-pair -pair connections are maintained correctly. It must always be remembered that using even a single CAT5B jumper in the CAT6 system will lower the system to CAT5B. Therefore, terminate a CAT6 system with CAT6 jumpers. If you need CAT6, CAT5 or fiber optic cable installation at inexpensive prices with both non-union and or union labor, please call us at 212-757-0095 or view us online at serveraxandcable.com. S-E-R-V-E-R-R-A-C-K-S-A-N-D-C-A-B-L-E.com. There will be more information on the website.